After installing your beautiful bidet, if your toilet seat is lifting up like this without touching the front, then you have a problem. I'm going to explain why it's happening and I'm going to tell you how to fix it. All right. So why is it happening? It mainly happens because your toilet seat's back is pressing against the bidet, which is lifting the front. Now, before you go and leave a bad review on the bidet, you have to think that if the toilet seat that you have on your toilet is compatible with the bidet or not. For example, I have a toilet seat here, which as you can see, drops drastically down, curved on this side. If you flip it, you notice that the angle is lipped so much that this area will press against the bidet and that will give you the lift so you cannot use these toilet seats you know this is normally what comes with toilets and you have to find a seat that is much more flat i forced the seat to come up just to show you how it'll look but in reality this is the kind of seat you need where the back is fully flat as you can see it's very flat and the only thing that's pressing against the bidet is this particular hinge, which is absolutely fine. If you have a flat seat, you notice it goes all the way down and your bumpers in the front are actually the one holding the seat. There is no pressure on the bidet. If you have a curved one like this, what will happen is this curved part will keep pressing the bidet on the top and that may uh, reduce the performance of the bidet because it's uh, bending this and squishing the tube inside and also what will happen is because of that pressure angle the seat will stay up like this because you're like already touching down there that's what we're trying to avoid a couple of ways to do if you have that scenario and if you don't want to change that seat you can use something like this bigger bumpers so what it does is it basically goes under here yes it'll be lifted but at least there will be some support when you're sitting so that you don't crack the seat or the bidet. That is something you can get from Amazon. You can throw in the link on the description. On the other hand, the ideal thing is to make sure that you do buy a flat seat, just like this one. And the third option I wanna suggest is to pick a bidet that is thin. Here you have a Zen bidet, it's about half an inch thick, as you can see. There are other bidets that are even more thicker. On the other hand, you look at this bidet, this is a spritz bidet, and this is less than quarter inch thick. And this is very slim, so that the impact of the seat touching it is minimal. And that's what we are trying to do in order to fix this from lifting up, either bumpers, flat seat, thinner bidet. Those are your choices. Hope this video was helpful if you're installing a bidet. If you watch this before you buy a bidet, then it may be even more helpful. I'll put the link for the Slim Spritz Bidet and the Zen Bidet uh, as well in the description. Enjoy your bidet. We'll see you in the next video.